Hi everyone. I was asked yesterday about how to obtain the standardized root mean square residual when performing structural equation modeling using the AMOS program. And the fact is that the SRMR does not appear in the standard output when you are running a model. But you can obtain the uh, SRMR uh, by using a plugin that comes with the program. So what I thought I would do is just uh, to walk you through how to obtain it. So you can see right here I've specified a confirmatory factor analysis model and I'm basically ready to run the analysis. So what I'm going to do uh, before I run the analysis is I'm going to go up to plugins and click this button right here and then go down to standardized RMR. So I'll click on that and you'll see a box appear and you're not going to be typing anything in that box. What we're going to do is we're going to run the analysis and then you'll see the uh, SRMR appear in that box. So I'll go ahead and go over to calculate estimates and click here and so now you can see that we get the SRMR for the model which happens to be 0 0.0766. Um, if I respecify the model I'll just go ahead and add a correlated here for fun and uh, rerun the analysis and you can see that we have uh, the SRMR for the second model. Now it is important to keep in mind that if you have missing data in your data set on, on any of your variables, um, you're not going to be able to get the SRMR. So let me show you uh, what happens if that's the case. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to select a, a new data file, go under file name here and select uh, a data file with a few missing values on a couple of our uh, indicator variables and I'll click on OK right here. I'll go under analysis properties and select estimate means and intercept since we are missing data and uh, I'll click on close right here and then I will click on calculate estimates. So now when I uh, bring up the box again you can see that it says default model the standardized RMR is not defined when some data values are missing. So just kind of keep that in mind if again if you happen to have uh, missing data on uh, any of the variables in your analysis. Okay, so that pretty well concludes this video demonstration and I appreciate you watching.